This is Dispatches from Myrtle Beach with Charles Neal and my son Link from Good Mythical Morning. Hey, Link. How you doing? I'm doing good. Can't you tell by my spirit fingers? Spirit fingers. These are spirit whoa, whoa. fingers, Dad. You've never heard of spirit fingers? Uh, no, I got paint fingers. Try, try it out. Hold them up. Hold them up next to your face. Back a little bit. A little further. Back close to your face. On either side of your face. And then you just, tw just twinkle. Not don't, you're not grabbing. <laughs> yeah, and this looks like you're grabbing two things that are right next to each other. You don't want to do. I don't know what that would be, but you're not doing. Just the fingers, not the thumb. Just waggle the fingers. There you go. That's spirit fingers. Yeah, I mean, it you, is. I mean, well, are you what familiar kind of with the? Am I conjuring up? It's a school spirit. It's like a yeah. It's like have you ever heard of the sport of cheerleading? <laughs> uh, hold on, let me let me ask that again. Have you ever heard of cheerleading? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I've heard of cheerleading. Yeah, they yeah. do. They, they do spirit fingers. Oh, okay. So, so some, over the evolution of what would like that create, would be evolution. Oh, I'm sorry. You helping with with some. Um, Pronunciation. Grammar. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll return the favor a little bit later today. How's yeah, that? Yeah, go ahead. I don't doubt that a bit in this world. But they have, uh, they've evolved, these cheerleaders have evolved techniques to procure the most spirit from any onlookers. And apparently the, the slight shaking of the fingertips when placed vertically really elicits a spirited response from an onlooker. Okay. I mean, All right. you did not you did not cheer when I did that. You didn't do no. anything. I don't know. So it didn't do it to you. Maybe you're maybe you're susce not susceptible I'm to just, it. I'm uh, just hey, w when I went to school, they won't do spirit fingers with cheerleaders. They would just you know, probably and they just like now though, but they were some good-looking cheerleaders, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, yeah, uh, yeah. That's they are to all be, the spirit that they had. They're to be watched, yeah. you know. Yeah, I don't know if they're to be looked at, but let's just let's just be real. You look at them, you know. You look at them in order to know when to be spirited, right? Uh, so you do that look would at. Be correct. Yeah. yeah. When I was growing up, you you know, I was looking at them to be spirited. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Unless you're sitting up in the stands and they're doing like this. Yep. You're like, oh, I'm a, I'm gonna look at her. She's doing that with her fingers. I'm, a, I'm, I should be cheering now. See? Oh yeah. And before cheerleaders, I mean, what was it like back then, Dad? When sporting events without cheerleaders, you remember that? No. Like when the, I, hey, what are you talking about? Before that, when, <laughs> I, when I the cheerleaders, they was hey. We had cheerleaders when I went to school. Really? In the 40s? Yeah. In the 40s? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? I ain't that old. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just, I'm, I went to school in the late, let's see, I was in the first grade in 1959 and I graduated in 1970. So. Okay. So you saw, that, you saw a little bit of the 50s. In kindergarten, yeah, in did you go to kindergarten? They won't know kindergarten. Oh, what was it like life before kindergarten? See, you are uh, old. Kindergarten didn't exist. Yeah, that that would be correct. And then it won't. I don't. I, and I, I don't. I don't know. You know, life was really good because I mean, uh, we didn't have all these video games and all this stuff, and we played outside and we had a big time, good time. So. And then we work most of the other time. So gotcha. Uh, that's what we did. One year less of school. That would be, that would be correct. That All be I had to. Yeah. I'm I, off to a I roll. Bet. We're not even five minutes into this episode, and I've, I have been correct three times. You've given me three. That will be. That will be correct. Yep. And you know and what? Would be cor Up what? That would be correct. Yeah, I have given you four far, now. That's four. He's given me four. That would be correct, Myrtle Beasts, if you're following along. And I just wanted to add, 
I was talking to Nana on the phone, and she gave me a that would be correct. And I've never heard her say it before. And I was thinking, well, maybe she said it, and I just didn't know it. I just wondered, did you get it from her, or did did I, she that, get that's it a good, you know, from you? I don't know. I, I think she's... Uh, I think she's heard it from me several times when I was telling her stuff about the podcast and oh. different things, and I'd okay. tell her, so, you know, and she'd ask me a question, and I'd say, Nana, that would be correct. Yep. Because you haven't said this your whole life. This is a... Oh, no, this is just something come up when we started doing this podcast. Really? Yep. You never said it off of Mike? No, I mean, I started saying it when I started uh, meeting people that recognized me and when they'd recognize me from doing the podcast and they'd ask, say, oh, God, you're, you're Link's dad. And I said, that would be correct. So that's where, that's where it really started from. That's how it got started, yeah. But you would say it back in the 40s. Hell, I wasn't born in the 40s. See, I was trying to get you to say that would be incorrect. <laughs> that could, you know, you could expand your offerings. Yeah, I could, but uh, hey, you, you're going to have to, you're going to have to do better about being in the 40s. I, you know, uh, well, you're gonna how have to talk incorrect could I be? Well, how would, you know, I bet you did it in the 30s, right? That would be incorrect. There too. we really go. Really incorrect. It works. Yeah. There we go. Really incorrect. Yeah. I wonder what other that would be. You could you could start adding to your repertoire. I don't know. I while I'm not on doing the podcast, I just uh, when I'm painting and doing stuff, I will see if I can't come up with some more. Yeah, that would be spirited. That would be spirit fingers. I don't know. I don't know. You think about it on your own time and bring it back to me. All what right. what 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 else is new? I'm going to give I'm going to give right before we came on mm -hmm. the podcast there was a bunch of college students walking down by the house. And I went downstairs and took our cards that we've got from dispatches from Myrtle Beach. And I walked down there, and I'm going to give them a holler out there from University of Virginia ski team are down here skiing this weekend. All of them, all of them knew who you were, and they said, when I walked out there and asked them if you knew who Rhett and Link were, and they said, yes, and we've, we've seen you on your podcast, too. And here they were walking by your house. Were they skiing past your house? No, it's too hot to ski down here right now. Let me get this straight, though. You were in your house, which means you were upstairs in your house, and you looked out the window and you saw just young people walking by in, in the neighborhood, and then you clamored to gather business cards, and you ran down the steps, and what, you were, were you yelling at them to stop? No, it didn't quite happen. That's, that's pretty close, but I was uh, opening the door and they were coming up the street, and I was letting Tristan in that does the st stuff here. Like your 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 engineer, your sound. Yeah, engineer. my engineer. Okay. okay. And so I walked back in the house. I just walked. Got I I keep cards, several different places in the house to make sure I carry them out the door with me, and go different places. That's walked great. down the steps, and That's they great. were right beside, a little bit up above the corner of the house, and I walked out there, and I said, can I have a minute of y'all's time? <laughs> and yeah. one of the guys stopped and said, well, sure. And they, so they all stopped, and I said, that's when I asked them, said, y'all ever heard of Rhett and Link? And they <laughs> said, and I said, this is what I said, do I look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what and, she said. And then the, one of the guys <laughs> said, oh, my God, I've seen you on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, said that, and then I said that would be correct. Bazell, <laughs> you got so it. So I give them, I give them all a, a card, I, and they were that. shaking my hand. Of course, they didn't have their, must not have had their phones. They didn't ask to take a picture or anything. But hmm. They'll probably be back by the house 
because they're staying all week and they'll be knocking on the door or something later on wanting to get a picture to prove yeah, they, it. They do know where you live now. Yes, they do. I mean, that is something to think about. That's, that's, that's all right. I ain't as famous as you. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. But I, yeah, I, I went out there and talked to them for a few minutes. Good job. They shook my hand and they they were really pleased to meet me and of course they were and, but they told me to tell you uh to say tell link we said hey hey fellas what's up so link yeah i i i did what you asked me to do you talking about after your shower yes ha you did the the body blow dry i did it but listen take start at the t- do- start at the beginning just tell me Tell me all the glorious details. Okay. I we did the We? I told Nancy asked me, said, what'd y'all talk about today? Mm-hmm. And um I said, Well, Link gave me some insight on them when he takes a shower. <laughs> that after he takes a shower, he rubs the water down off of him where the towel don't get so wet. Hand squeeze. And Nancy said, I do that too. Oh yes. Yes, that's right, Nana. Yeah, and then, and I and I do it sometimes. Sometimes I don't, it's according to how big a hurry I am. We got some nice towels, just like you do. <laughs> but so I I did all that, and Nancy was in there uh, with me when I came out of the shower and I was drying off, and she says, "Let me dry you off with the hair dryer." <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. So she wow. got the hair Jeez. dry out and was blowing me off and drying me. And I turned around and I said, Now, Link said that when he blows the, the back side off, he lays the hair dryer up on the counter where he can get his <laughs> crack good and dry and all <laughs> that stuff and everything. Yeah, you but told see, her everything. Yep. So I told her all of it. So she dried me and she said, I said, but Link said we needed to get one of them dryers where if it got too hot, it had a cold button on it. He, she said, that'd probably be a good idea if we're going to do this very often. <laughs> this is, <laughs> but, this is, this is becoming but, a, hey, a two man job. I, it was, uh, I mean, I could do it myself, but I mean, I, I, I kind of like my wife blow drying me off. You have so, to, yeah. You have taken it up a notch. I mean, I ne- it never once crossed my mind for you to ask your wife to blow you off, yeah. to dry you off. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my gosh, Dad, this is amazing. Did you? So it, when did she put that. it on the counter and did you bend over? Oh no, I just she did it all. I didn't have she to. Did she did it all. Kind of. Did I you turned around, blowed did me you, off? And, did you? Did you spread the? cheeks or did she a do little that? bit yeah i okay. mean i wanted to get the full effect if so it get dry yes under my arm yes my back neck yes all all you yeah. know with all this hair i got it, exactly it a, if it yeah. flops lift it yep yeah. mm-hmm. that's right so mm-hmm. so i i have tried the blow drying technique and when i'm not in a hurry uh i'm probably gonna try it again because what tell me about the results because you felt really dry yes no dampness no dampness and when you're putting uh, on your underwear there's no there's no stickiness it they just slide right on up zoop, they slide right on in place See, well, I, I take a shower at night after I've been working and I just okay. I don't put a pair of underwear on I put my oh yeah little Red or yellow pants on this silky. Uh, Your red or yellow of, silky pants. Okay. Yeah. And I bet they slid kind of right like, on. It's just shorts. It's kind. Of, it's shorts. Is what they are. It, they're they're shorts. shorts. That's all. I mean, yeah. we're talking about short, but they are red or yellow, and they are silk. Yeah. Yeah, they are. It sounds like yeah. a little more than shorts. I mean, don't don't sell it short. <laughs> well, I hey. Uh, uh, when we go up to Nana's and stay with her, and I go take a shower with her and come out and got got them on, that Nana says, "Man, where'd you get them red or yellow shorts?" They said, "Them things is pretty neat looking." So, mm-hmm. you know, give you something to talk about. So you're you. It takes time, but 
when you have time, you're going to do it again. Yep. Did you? Did she burn probably anything? Do it by my, I'll probably do it by myself this next time. Nancy probably won't be around. She'd probably be doing something else, cooking supper for me or something. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. yeah, as long as she's doing something for you, you know, she yeah. doesn't have to... <laughs> She didn't have to, uh, yeah, she's cook, 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 <laughs> cooking stuff for you. She might not be around. She might be doing something else for me besides blow drying my body off. With mm-hmm. I love the fact that she was like, you know what? I I could do that for you. That's great. And you so you were just pirouetting in your in your bathroom. Yep. And she was just just hosing you down with hot air. Yeah, up and down, all around. Yep. But it, I mean, it seems like you loved it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Dad. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. This year has already gone by so quickly. What's something you're proud of in 2024 so far? Or something you still want to accomplish this year? When life goes so fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate your wins and make adjustments for the rest of the year. Therapy can help you take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next six months. And I'd just like you to know that BetterHelp is a great way for you to be able to talk to a therapist. And if you've got something you need to talk to them about, when we talked about things going on for the year 2024 so far, and you want to make plans for something else, there they'd be a great help to be able to help you do that and figure out what you want to do and how you want to set your boundaries and what empowers you to be the best version of yourself and achieve your goals. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Take a moment, visit betterhelp.com slash dispatches today to get 10% off your first month. That's help, H-E-L-P dot com slash dispatches. Why do you want to learn a new language? Maybe you have an upcoming international trip, want to connect with a family member or friend, or just want to learn a new skill or take on a new hobby. In comes Rosetta Stone, the most trusted language learning program available on desktop or as an app. It truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. They use trusted experts for 30 years with millions of users and 25 languages offered, some of which include Spanish, French, German, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Dutch, and Arabic. Rosetta Stone immerses you in many ways, There are no English translations, so you really learn to speak, listen, and think in that language. It's designed for a long-term retention. Plus, they have convenient desktop and app options with audio companion and the ability to download lessons offline. All for an amazing value. A lifetime membership has all 25 languages for any and all languages needed in life. That's lifetime access to all 25 language courses Rosetta Stone offers for 50% off. A steal. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a limited time, dispatches from Myrtle Beach, listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash dispatches. That's 50% off unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash dispatches today. Did you know that Rhett and Link have a grooming line? Well, I didn't. Unleash your legendary style with a line of mythical grooming and personal care products. The collection features items for the hair on your face hair on your head, and for everything else. Available now at mythical.com. Well, you know what, Link? Uh, We've been talking about these little quirks that we do, or you were doing, and you got me to do about blow drying. Mm -hmm. I got an email from Zoe. Zoe. Okay. And she asked me, because I have heard that you have a special one too. And she said, do you have a favorite 
pillow. Link is very particular about his, <laughs> and I'm curious to see if it runs in the family. Mm-hmm. Uh, I couldn't find a name on it, but I brought it with me. What? So it looks, Yours just looks like a normal pillow, though. Oh, no, it's not normal. It'll... Look it's it. soft. Like father, like son, y'all. Yeah. And you can lay your hand down on it and go to sleep. Well, yeah, yeah that's, Turn that's what I, I would expect that you do with a, a pillow. Yeah, but. Well, I mean, what else do you do with it? I, I don't, that's it. But Lay your head on it and go uh, to sleep? Yeah. What's so special yeah. about your pillow? Does it ha- Is it like full it, of seeds? I, Let me ask you that way. Is it full is of, it what? is it full of husks? No. Is it shaped like a log? Like that you no. put in a fireplace? No, it's... I mean, I just showed it to you. It's long. I know. I'm just... It's a, it's I'm, a I'm establishing something. Is uh, it hard and uncomfortable and forces you to lay only on your back and not your side because it, sm- it would smush your ears so much that it would wake you up? Oh, no, that's what I like about it. I can turn over any way I want to, Mm-mm. and it'll conform right to my side of my head on it and where it don't hurt my ears or anything. So, no, I got a good pill. I'm sorry. It come from Mattress Firm, Act, no, not well, a sponsor of the show. That's but, right, not a sponsor of the show. Yeah. Um, I got to tell you, Dad, you're missing out. You could have the most uncomfortable pillow experience of your life if you just use my pillow. I wish I would have brought it, but I've already described it to you. It's a cylindrical, husk-filled, filled, uncomfortable cylinder. Why I said, in the I world said would you sleep twice, with something like that? It forces I mean, me to sleep on some... my back and it aligns my neck. I never wake up with a crink and I don't sleep on my side because I, my shoulders started hurting too much. And Quavo is also interested Quavo Mhm well, what what you what do you mean The rapper from Migos uh, Okay that, that's uh, you're going to have to introduce me to him I don't know who Quavo is well, the... Next time I see him I'll call you Okay We both got hey but, but we both have pillows and that's all that matters That's right Yep yeah. We both have special pillows So that's the answer to our question. Yep. So, so I guess it e. runs in the family. Yep. yep. Pillow quirk, boys. That's us. Yeah, because when me and Nancy go off on a trip or go somewhere, unless it's flying somewhere, we take our pillows with us. Exactly. Because you want to have that consistency. Oh, yeah. Because you don't want to wake up with a crink in your neck when you're traveling. Because... You want to be able to look left, you want to be able to look right, you want to be able to look up, look down, and you don't want to have oh, any pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, do it all. There you go. That's right. Do it all. Do all the looks. Mm hmm. There you go. We understand. Well, Zoe, you, me and my son and I, we, we ha- both have a special pillow. So, mm-hmm. uh, mine's just I'm, better than I'm glad his. Glad to answer that question for you. Because mine's worse than his, which makes it better. Anyway. No, mine's better than yours because it's soft. All right, let's agree to disagree. We're both special pillow boys, and that's good enough. That's good enough. Okay. It's time for, can I pronounce these words? Let's see if I follow, fail. All right, Dad, before you learn some new words to pronounce, or you know what? That's presumptuous. Before you correctly pronounce words that are on a list that's been provided to you, once again, to prove that you know how to pronounce all words correctly, I would like (laughs) to do a little review. So the first list that I've sent you is uh, a handful of words that you've already pronounced. I want to see if you remember how to pronounce them, and then we'll move to some new ones. So the first one starts with a Q. Do you see it? Yeah. All right. Let's go for it. Quinoa. Mm-hmm. Still got it. <laughs> yep. And then what's the next one? The F one. Oh, Lord. Uh, Do you remember? Falafel. Okay. 
I think that's right. Yeah. All right. Falafel. Quesadilla. There you go. There you go. You, have you had one of those? Have you ordered one since last time you said it on the show? As a matter of fact, that's probably the reason I knew how to pronounce it because Nancy made some in a pan the other night and fixed them and put them in the oven and poured some kind of stuff on them. And they were good. Too. And when, when, you, when you saw them, what did you say? Oh, I said, honey, well, she told me, she, she, she said, I'm fixing you some quesadillas tonight. <laughs> she said it? Really? Okay. Yeah. And then, so you, you rubbing off on everybody. You got Nana saying stuff. You got Nancy saying stuff. All right. The P word. Oh. Prosciutto. Good. That's right. All right. You still got it. You know what? Jalapeno. It, oh, there we go. Yeah. You know jalapeno. Jalapeno. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I can't eat them no more. But you I could like say jala, jalapeno. You could say that. Jalapeno. You could say that. Yeah. But you did, and that's fine. It's better. All right, so now let's go to the new ones. Okay. And th these new ones didn't come from me. They came from an email, right? Yeah, these came from Jonah. He says, here's some more words I'd love to hear you pronounce. Okay, good. Mm. He's thinking about it. Baglo, baglo, mm, I can't even... Uh, Belonganese. Oh, that's pretty good. B say it again. Belonganese. Belonganese. Well, there's no N after the O, or it's the it's G. Belonganese. Belonganese. Yep. But after the G, it's the N. Yeah, that's what belonganese. Okay. I actually don't know how to say this one either, but I know you're not saying it right. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Bolo Bolognese. 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 Is that it? Bolognese. Oh. <laughs> you got me. Oh, okay. Bolognese. Oh. I thought the G was just like a little bit in there. Bo yeah. Bolognese, 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 I can't say it. Bolognese. Bolognese is how I. Bolognese. Bolognese. What? Bolognese. <laughs> I don't know how to say this one, Logan. Bolognese. 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 Really? Bolognese. Bolognese. No G. Oh, I know what it's next. Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't make fun of him anymore. I don't know how to say bolognese. <laughs> bolognese, bolognese, bolognese. There's a little bit of a G. It's like there's an H in the I word white. Hey, white. When when I when Logan said it, I didn't hear no G. It no. Sound like it was silent. I know, Dad. I know. <laughs> We're in this together, though. But have you yeah. ever been to the the C word? Have you ever been to that place? It's a restaurant. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. And it's called what again? Chipotle. Uh, Chipotle. Chipotle. Oh no! It's it, it down here is Chipotle. <laughs> I mean, that's better than Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle. Yeah. All right. What else has Jonah got for you? Huh? Oh. Breach. Breach. There's an O in there. Uh, maybe a salad. <laughs> <laughs> the O is silent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Brochy. <laughs> What accent are you trying to do? God damn, I don't know. <laughs> These things look like there might be something from Italy, so I don't know. It's a, it's, it is bread. Brochi. But there's an Brochi. I in it, too, and it's not silent. Briochi. Ooh, that's close. 
The e, the e is silent. Brioche. Oh! It, but the ch is not so hard. Okay. Brioche. Yes! That was it. That was perfect. Brioche. <laughs> Brioche. Brioche. All right. Brioche. Okay. Uh, Palella. <laughs> this is a this is a big dish, you know. It's like a it's a big dish of rice, and uh, it's got clams in it and sh and sh uh, sausage. Mm. You never had it? Yeah, I think so. But say it again. Mm. Paella. Well, there's a it 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 really needs an I. So there's a. There's a, it's not a silent eye, it's an invisible eye. Uh, so try that. Add an, add an invisible eye in there. Paella. Uh, add the eye earlier. Oh. Piella. That's getting there. Uh, Piella. Piella. And that, but, but the L's. <laughs> Are a Y. The L's are a Y? Mm hmm. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> it's Spanish, I guess. Mm. Piwala. The L's. You still said the L sound, though. It's a Y sound. I, I'm trying. I can't get the L's. I, my brain is looking at L's and it don't see a Y. But then put the L's together and then add a tail on it. To make it a Y. Paya. E Y A. Paya. Yes! That's it. Paya. 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 Well, it's more A Paella. than an E. So the okay. L should be a Y. Paella. The E should be an A. The A should also be an. The A should be a Y. Yeah. It should be P Y A Y A. That's how it should be spelled. All right, and then he's got one more for you. Hors d'oeuvres. See, bam! You can't get him. You can't get him. <laughs> you can't pin him down. He's got a special pillar. <laughs> That's good, Dad. You've done it. You've done it. Well, uh, maybe I'm gonna have to order that thing from Rosetta, Rosetta Stone and make sure I learn how to pronounce all these words people send at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a sponsor? Yes, yes, it is. I believe it is. What's the what's the what's the code? It, it's Rosetta Stone. Uh, RosettaStone dot com. RosettaStone dot com slash dispatches. And that is a sponsor. So woo! That is. See, look at this. Yeah. So it's that's a, that it that Rosetta Stone's a pretty neat thing for people. But yep. you know, I may have to I may have to just order it myself. Mm, this, mm -hmm. And and let them know that I did. Sure am. Because you can get it fifty percent off with this. Oh yeah, uh, you don't Beach. have to advertise to me. We'll do the ads at a different at a different. <laughs> okay. yeah, I I also read these ads. Trust me. <laughs> I know about the Rosetta Stone. It's, it's it's yeah. It is a sponsor. It's good. I don't think you should well, do it though, because I don't want you to change any way that you say anything. Okay. All, All right. right. We'll see. Well, I mean, it was. Uh, Jonah, it was fun pronouncing these words, and it was fun having all you here with us today, and we'll be back next week for another one. And don't forget to don't forget to follow and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube. And while mm -hmm. you're at it, rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. And if you got a question, comment, or story you'd like to share with me, Email me at ratherbeshagging53 at aol.com. And y'all have a great rest of the week. And we can't wait to belly flop in your bull of knees again next time. Yep. Hard G. Like us with two hard Gs. <laughs> well, I... Hey, this is fun, Link. We, yeah, we I don't know what else to say. Day. It was just so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, all you dispatchers from Myrtle Beach enjoyed this week, and I'll see y'all next week.
Bye-bye. Love you, son. Love you.